Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your November 2021 Celtic Cross. We're just going to pull some cards out here today and see what comes through for the Sagittarius Collective. That was a terrible riffle, just bear with me. <laughs> that was a bit better, wasn't it? Okay, can we believe we are nearly in your season? Sagittarius. Uh, no, we've got a little bit way off yet. Uh, towards the end of this month, November, this reading is for, of course. So happy birthday to all of the first Decan Sagittariuses in the house right now. Let's just get some cards out. What's going on? What's up with Sag? Overall energy? Oh, okay. Ouchie. Oh, not as we approach your birthday season. What's going on? This is kind of Gemini, Mercury and Gemini specifically. This is the uh, stabbed in the back. Rock bottom, overkill kind of card. What's crossing you is the Ace of Pentacles. So we've gone from a 10 to an Ace. We can't quite get something fired up, reignited, back off the ground kind of feels like um, like you kind of metaphorically you you've hit the deck you're on the ground here and when you try to get yourself back up you somebody or something kind of keeps putting the boot in here which is not very pleasant ten of pentacles at the root of the situation could be to do with family or friends or blood relatives or somebody very close to you here other people definitely involved for sure Got the Magician in the recent past. There's some more Gemini energy, strong Gemini energy there as well with the Magician Virgo and Swell and Virgo here too. Strong Gemini and Virgo on the table. Knight of Cups, that's what's on your mind. Is this you or is this somebody coming towards you? The Judgment card coming in for you. Scorpio energy. We've got the Five of Swords. Okay. Seven of Cups. Strength. And the Queen of Pentacles up here in your outcome position. Okay. Something here, Sag, I'm afraid to say, <clears throat> has recently floored you. This is very low, rock bottom defeated energy it could have been a very significant loss for you um and uh if that's resonating for you then then i am very very sorry that you're experiencing that this could be the passing of a loved one the end of a relationship the loss of a job anything like that but i feel this you know ten of swords it's such a visceral card it it's essentially brought you to your knees um I think your confidence has taken quite a blow and I think the real struggle at this point in time for you is getting back off onto your feet um getting back up again being able to find the will the desire the motivation perhaps even the resources the energy to find that fight in you again to, to kind of get yourself back up again um, essentially, we've definitely got the energy of endings and beginnings here. I feel in the recent past, it kind of feels like something has been essentially slipping through your fingers for a while and you tried very hard to hold on to it, to keep it going, to maintain it, but I'm definitely getting this sort of very ending kind of energy. You know, we've got card number 20, we've got the 10, we've got a 10. Um, yeah, I think you possibly tried to hold on beyond the point of no return. The point of no return has arrived. Um, this feels, this entire spread really feels like you processing... A significant loss in some way for you. I love that we start to shift into the strength card and the queen of pentacles. That shows me that that healing 
is occurring. And I think that's very important right now. But I do see this kind of this repression, this repression of your feelings or yourself like I don't think you're quite yourself right now I don't think you feel yourself I don't think you have all that much energy right now um there's a significant absence of swords um not swords sorry ones there's an absence of ones in your reading here today and you of course are a fire sign ones are fire the strength card over here is a card of fire. It's the only one and it's in your hopes and fears position. I don't think you, yeah, there's, there's like a very subdued, quiet, struggling to find your get up and go kind of vibe. I think, I think you've kind of lost your mojo a little bit here. You, you've had a knock. You've had a significant knock, um, possibly relating to a family member or somebody that you shared a home with, something along those lines. I'm getting this sense of things that you wished, wish you had said and it's the opportunity to say those things has now been lost and therefore regret surrounding that so so for some of you I, I could quite literally be tapping into somebody passing somebody dying um here and again if this is resonating for you for november sagittarius then then please accept my sympathy um for that very difficult and challenging situation um often in those kind of situations you know most of us have been through something like this um we reflect on especially if that passing was not something you could kind of prepare for like a, a sudden or shocking passing we often reflect on the, the last conversation we had with that person, the last time we saw that person, the last thing we said, the last interaction we had. And of course, if the passing was shocking, then we didn't really behave as though that would be the last time we would speak to that person. It might not be that somebody's actually passed. This could be the death of a relationship. Um... But something has been lost to you. It's not so much that something has ended. Something has ended. But the stronger phrase that I'm being given right now is that something has now or is now lost to you. Um, and I think for whatever reason, you're not going to be able to get this back. And what I see here is you kind of figuring out how it is you can come to terms with that very sad, painful fact. The judgment card is, is sometimes a card of second chances. And I think this is a wish, a desire. Um... This is a whole bunch of woulda, coulda, shouldas. It's regret for things that were not said, things you did not express, that it is now too late to, to say. It's not really clear why it's too late. And you have so much that you want to express here. There is so much that you wish you could express. It's like you've scratched the surface of the stuff that's here. And the desire to have the opportunity to express all of those things is no longer... Um, is, the desire is still here, but the opportunity has passed. Um... 
that's rough that's really rough your advice and guidance is to kind of accept you know as best as you can that that is the case but but it there's kind of an indication this kind I'm, I'm really i'm struggling with this reading search i'm kind of hesitating a lot i appreciate that and apologies for that i think it's because you're kind of the energy from you is a little bit at a loss so i'm tapping into that very similar kind of vibe um but the advice is that you you there are other ways to say what needs to be said to express yourself you know you can journal you can write a letter burn the letter send the ashes in the winds write the letter put it in a jar freeze it put it on ice put it on hold bury it put it back into the ground um you don't actually have to have a particular person stood in front of you for you to express yourself there, there are other ways to kind of get this energy out because i feel like there's a lot here inside you that feels like it's got nowhere to go now um there are other ways there are other ways that you can explore all of those feelings that you have you have a whole bunch of feelings here that are just kind of swirling around left things said on things left unsaid etc all that kind of stuff but deep deep feelings within you that you kind of don't really know what to do with now your hope and fear let's just address this very quickly it's very clear you hope you can be strong in the face of this very challenging situation and you fear that you might not be strong enough i think you will i think you will we end on a very calm a very calm kind of note um very quiet uh again kind of repressed but I think your focus might turn to other people other things other situations that demand your attention perhaps initially by way of distraction but ultimately I think it will make you feel better to give a little and to focus on other people you know maybe a bit, bit of charity work um paying it forward that kind of energy um like going out of your way to be particularly kind to other people that could be your nearest and dearest it could be complete strangers um volunteering for some kind of charity or something along those lines um i think would be a great channel for you right now this is such a challenging read this is really hard for me I'm, I'm quite choked up actually um yeah something is definitely it's just not available to you anymore not in the way that you hoped it could be or wanted it to be or thought it might be in the future I feel like you feel this is a huge missed opportunity because I see in the past here you absolutely had this assumption that you got this this was all good this was and and this kind of feels like quite a blind side um just trying to figure out what else we've got going on here again lack of wants for a fire sign is always something worth paying attention to you've lost your fire you've lost your spark don't worry you are a fire sign you're mutable fire it'll come back it'll come back in time what's on the bottom of the deck for search please nine of pentacles yeah you're gonna kind of 
maybe figure out how to be alone for a while. So could very much be the end of a relationship for some of you, um, which sometimes can feel like a death of sorts. And perhaps you're very much in that energy of, I want to be alone for a while, I think, Virgo energy. Um, or perhaps, okay, maybe it's time I figured out how to be alone. I, I get, I'm getting a very lonely vibe in general in terms, I don't really see anybody else here. I don't see you wanting to reach out to anybody. Um, it's kind of a, it's a little bit unsociable, I guess. Maybe it's because you want to be alone or maybe because you've been left with very little choice in that. But I don't see you seeking a distraction from this challenging energy. I see you looking at it square on and sort of saying to yourself, OK, this kind of sucks, but let's let's face this and hopefully let's figure out what we can do about this um i think a little bit of kindness is definitely warranted right now i really just feel like i could i wish i could just reach out and hug you right now i think a good hug would would be would just do wonders for you right now um so you know if there isn't a person available for that right now, Sag, um, if you've got a cat or a dog close by, go grab them, insist upon a hug. You know, the dog will probably be far more receptive than the cat. <laughs> Just really feel like you could do with a friend, do with a hug right now. Um, The advice and guidance here is it's kind of accept defeat, accept defeat. Um, I think there is a situation here that basically you can't do much about and I'm hearing it's too late. And again, I feel that's kind of you telling yourself that um kind of sometimes sad some really shitty sad horrible things happen and there is basically nothing we can do about it so we just need a moment we just need a moment to sit in that energy process it and there will always be light at the end of that tunnel um, again, what you can do very much right now is focus on being kind. Not just to yourself, but to other people as well. And um, show that strength of character. I'm going to move this over to the extended. And again, if, you, if you're still here, then I assume this reading has resonated for you. And if that is the case, again, I, I'm so sorry you're going through something like this. This was by far the most difficult reading that I've done in this batch so far. I'm going to go ahead and clarify all of the cards that we see here today with the patch tarot, the link to the extended and some information about what exactly it is you're getting in the extended is in the description, but just, just take care of yourself, Sagittarius. Take care of yourself, be gentle, be kind, take it slow. And uh, all my love and best wishes for anybody who's going through and dealing with this energy right now. I'll see some of you over in the extended. Take care.